Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Tracksman44 here. Hey, you know, it's got just a few minutes before uh, before the dinner bell's going to ring, uh, so I thought maybe I'd come out here and play a tune on the buzzsaw. i got a little bit of pole wood there we got to get processed up and get in here with the split wood, so that's what we're going to do. No baloney. We're just going to sing a little tune.
Now, I told you we were just going to make some music with the old buzzsaw and not do any talking, but you know what? I lied. You know, there might be a buzzsaw virgin, you know, that uh, might be watching this video. And so I just wanted to reiterate, like I do all the time, that there's really not that much stuff that's unsafe with the buzzsaw. If it's one of your first times, you're not going to handle it like I do. Uh, it looks like I'm doing things that are very dangerous. It's not in the least bit, but I'm under aware of what it is that I'm doing. The main things you need to keep, remember, make sure you have some hearing protection, man. I keep them in my pocket all the time. You can wear gloves if you want to. The wood's wet today. That's why I wore gloves, because the wood's wet. And I always wear, like, safety glasses, and I like steel-toed shoes. So that's my tip of the day, you know, for, for handling a buzzsaw. Uh, they're just kind of fun, and it really gets a lot done in no time at all. And if you notice, I'm throwing those things, the ones that are light, I'm throwing them right directly up high in the woodshed because of the way I stack the wood in the woodshed. And I'm going to show you what I do. You can see by uh, looking over there, I mean, I've got that section there caught up, which I'm really far behind, you know, for this year. And we're actually burning out of the section over to my left over here. You can see we still have more than half of that section to go yet this season. And that's the last part of last season's wood, as a matter of fact. And this is going to be, you know, for the future. But if you notice, these compartments, they're actually um, ten and a half foot tall here in the front, right where I'm standing, uh, at the very minimum, and then 12 and a half foot all the way in the back end, okay? And then there are 12 foot sections between the poles. And so if you notice how they're stacked like stair steps, what I do is I split wood or I cut it with the buzzsaw and throw it in there and then stack up in a stair step pattern so that I never have to climb ladders until the very last row on the outside edge. I don't know if that makes any sense to you, but it does to me. I've been doing this for 30-some years in this particular shed. It just works well for me that way. None of this cutting little pieces in the woods, throwing it in the trailer, bringing it back and then throwing it into the woodshed, none of that stuff. Bring the poles or the long pieces of wood over to the woodshed, stage it right there with the big ends, preferably towards where you're going to run the buzzsaw. Pick them up real convenient, run through the buzzsaw, boom, right straight in the shed. You know, just minimize your handling time. And you know what? There is so much grit and so much dirt in a lot of these things here. If you would have seen it, if I had taken my time and actually shown it to you, you'd be surprised how much grit, how much dirt, and little gravel particulate that we just went through with this buzzsaw. And it ain't sawing any worse now than it was whenever we started. And I ain't sharpened it yet this year. So now, because you can't see back up there, I'm going to tell you, all the way back in the back, like I said, is 12 or 12 and a half foot tall. The very back rank is all the way up to the roof. The second rank lacks just a little bit, about two wheelbarrows, and it'll be to the roof. The third rank down here is about eight and a half or nine foot up. The fourth rank is an average of about four and a half or five foot. The fifth rank is about four foot. The sixth rank is about four foot. So that's how I build them in stair steps. And you can see what we just threw right in here on top. I'll get in there and rack that right in along with the mixed wood to get that good mixture of wood. And then we'll just keep working this away just like that day after day. So you know what? That's all I got to say about that. And this Tractor Man 44. And I'm out of here, man. It's supper time.